So your line guide, all the line comes through there and splatters. I'm going to take a nice cotton swab and roll that in there, like so. Yep, on both sides. And slide this thing out completely. This is the housing for the worm gear. If you want, you know, if it's really dirty and you want to get in there and take this out, you can. Just you need to unscrew this a little bit more to make sure it slides out. So another thing you can do to access um, more crevices, you can take some of this Q-tip here and pull off some of that material. This is a good trick to getting inside um, a couple of tight spaces. Let's get all that off. And I'm compressing it a little bit, dipping it in that rubbing alcohol. And now trying to get up inside of that line guide. Okay, try to get in there and just roll it around in there and try to get a little bit more of that gunk out. Yeah, so you can see this Q-tip is now just barely taking off any dirt. So we're in pretty good shape to start reassembly. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that this housing is installed flush here. And now I'm going to remove some of my pieces for that worm gear from the rubbing alcohol. I got my gear here. I have a paper towel. I'm going to put that on my paper towel. Take out the gear itself. And I'm just going to start drying off those pieces by hand with the paper towel. I'm going to start taking apart the pieces and cleaning them, rubbing off the old grease of the pieces we didn't put in the solution, make sure those are cleaned off. So before I start assembling, take one last look, make sure everything is dry, see if there's anything in here. That you want to clean off before you start the reassembly. So I do want to put some fresh grease, just a little bit of this drag grease, onto my worm gear. And I don't need a lot. You just barely want a little bit on there. Uh, and that's just to, um, to keep the metal from metal contact being an issue. This is not a part that is going to um, impact the smoothness of your reel much, if any at all, so you don't need to pack grease in there. If anything, the, you put too much grease in there, it attracts your dirt and it will negatively impact the performance. So I just like to put a little dab on there and just rub it around. Get the ends a little bit, just to protect it. So let's get a nice, nice little coating like that. All right, that, so I'm going to put this worm gear back in. That's actually one thing I had to look at in the schematics. I didn't notice when I was taking this out whether you have you have two different sides to this worm gear: the short side and the long side. All right. Let's take a closer look. 
didn't notice when I was coming out which end goes where, so I had to sort of look, take a peek at my schematics, and it's the short side goes in first. So take that, put that in. There we go. Now I'm going to take my white retaining piece, and I'm going to put that in first. Like so. Now flip this over. Take my metal piece. I'm just gonna take just a dab of grease and just rub it in there, just a little bit, just just to protect the parts and pieces. Put that in. If you have a little bit of grease on your hands, it also helps some of these small parts stick to your fingers so you can pick them up easier. Uh, so this side got the small C-clip. So the way to put these back on is you kind of put it over it just a little bit. Now these fit inside of a groove. So what you want to do is look for the groove and I can see it. Now this piece here, okay, I can move it a little bit and I want to get that groove to be flush with where that C-clip is going to be going in. So I'm going to push it down just a little bit until it's flush and then I'm going to start pushing that C-clip into place. There we go. So now that one's secured in. And once you got this side in, now that this is kind of locked, And flip it back over. I will actually take the time here to just tighten up that screw a little bit, take my screwdriver, get that back. It's it doesn't have to it's you don't want this to be too tight. Because otherwise it won't turn well. You just want to tighten it just so it keeps it kind of in place. Alright, so next we're gonna put our plastic gear into place. I will take some time, just a, just a small dab on my finger. I'm going to end up um, more putting more grease a little bit more in between the teeth, but that's coming up a little bit later, so this is just enough just to protect the parts. Now there's two sides. There's a lift side and a flat side. You're going to take the lift side down. It's going to go right in. Flush is what you're looking for. So you might have to push the back side of this in, okay? Because make, remember, when we put the C-clip in, there's a little groove where that C-clip snaps in. You want to see that. And this one gets the larger C-clip, we're going to place it over the top. Same thing, line it up into the groove. Get a good handle on everything and push it in. And now that worm gear is done. Let's give it a few spins. Make sure everything is nice and smooth the way you want it. And now we're ready to service the rest of the reel. So at this point we are finished with 75% of the cleaning portion. Okay, so we're getting ready for the reassembly of all these little pieces um, now what I like to do at this point is start taking them out and cleaning them because you do want to give them a little bit of time for all that fluid to dry off. 
So I'm going to get my paper towel. I've got a paper towel handy. And I'm going to start taking out some of these pieces and just drying them off by hand. Moisture still gets into your reel uh, from the lake and it will just look like it's going to tarnish a little bit. You can kind of see some of the tarnishing a little bit. That's totally normal, totally fine. It's not going to impact your reel negatively, so if you see that, don't get nervous. So this, I do like to take a cotton swab and really get into the crevice. Okay? Really want to push this in here and make sure this is clean. We're going to put some new new grease in there. So I need to take a, uh, special attention to the teeth. And just kind of spot checking them, see their condition. Obviously this is a Shimano piece, so I'm not anticipating any issues. Make sure that everything is in good shape. And I might go in with my tool and go in between a few just to make sure all that grease that was in here was um, broken up and taken off. So if I see any, any spot, just rub that make sure it's all clean. This one is in good shape. Put this one off to the side. Couple pieces here. Here's our yoke springs. If you ever have any issues with engaging your spool after your cast, 99% of the time, it's just a little yoke spring. 99 cents, you can just go in and replace them. When one goes bad, just replace both. And you're good to go. And that's a common, this is a common um, part failure in reels that get, uh, as, once they get a little bit older, it's common for those springs to just get a little bit bent and then your spool won't engage. So don't go running out and buying a new reel. 99 cents or two dollars really to replace both of them. And you're back out on the water no problem at all. So again, taking these out and taking my time and but making sure that they have enough time to dry off a little bit. You don't want any of that rubbing alcohol in um, in your reel when you reassemble it. So now this one is the most important one. The last one. And I'll show you why. If you having a hard time with casting distance, you want to pay attention to this part here. A lot of mistakes made cleaning this one. So once you hand dry it, take a fresh cotton swab and you're going to go into into this little cavity here with your cotton swab. It fits pretty well. Twist it around. Okay. Make sure that's dry. Now what you're going to do, just like before, you're going to peel off some of this cotton material on here and get it as um, thin as possible while still leaving just a little bit of the cotton on. There should be enough rubbing alcohol in there and I'm just going to shove this into there if it doesn't go, I need to take off a little bit more of this
cotton. This should fit in there perfectly. Yeah, look at that. Clean this out really good. You want to make sure nothing comes out of there. This is uh, we your spool. Let me show you. Uh, your spool goes through this piece. So if there's any dirt or debris in there, it's going to impact the your casting performance. So that's coming out nice and make sure it always comes out clean. And you're not going to put any grease in there. Make sure that stays dry. The grease is going to attract dirt um, and gunk it up in there. It's just a big mess. So never ever put grease inside of there. Leave it dry. And the same thing, just inspecting these teeth, making sure the teeth are in good shape. That there's no other grease in there. And then that part looks good. All right, so now we're going to work on our drag washer. So I'm gonna get another paper towel. 